At Forrester, Brooke talks to Ridge about our schedule in Rome. He calls her on it and she says, you know I want to go. It's a big moment for her daughter and she's an important part of the company. Rich reminds her it's going to be strictly business, not just for you and me, but for Hope and Thomas. Brooke wonders what he means. Rich says Thomas has been struggling with his feelings for Hope for years and he's figured it out. He's proud of him. Brooke would certainly love to believe that. In the design office, Thomas shows Hope a sketch and she loves it. She can hear the audible gasps coming from the audience. Brooke peeks in as they joke and laugh together. She flashes to Hope admitting she feels a little something for Thomas. She watches as they keep chatting amicably and thinks. At Spencer Publications, Liam says Thomas's name over and over again as he tells Wyatt how sick he is of everything Thomas. He gripes that the forester and his wife are jetting off to Rome together. But it's all good. He adds sarcastically. Wyatt gops. What? He then realizes they're going to preview the new line. Liam complains it's more time with Thomas. Wyatt hedges. This can't be a total surprise for you. You had to have known Hope was going to want Thomas to go too. Wyatt learns that Liam basically asked Hope to exclude Thomas from the trip and she told him to go kick rocks. He points out that the lead designer has certain privileges and says, it will probably be fine. Liam gripes that he was traumatized by them going to San Francisco together for the day, and now he has to picture them in Rome, Italy. Wyatt blurts, one of the most romantic cities in the world. Liam marvels at how utterly unhelpful that was. In Forrester's main office, Ridge is chuffed to see Thomas so inspired and energized. They recap that his obsession with Hope is behind them. Ridge worries about Hope having feelings for him, but Thomas says, Trust me, Dad. There's nothing to worry about with Hope and I going to Rome together. More. Special guest star in Italy. In the design office, Hope gushes to her mother about Thomas's creativity. Brooke says he has his father's talent, that's for sure. She hedges that she may want to be at the preview. I want to be there for my daughter. Hope is touched. Brooke adds, Besides, I think it would benefit you if I was there, in more ways than one. I could keep an eye on you and Thomas. At Spencer Publications, Wyatt makes matters worse by saying that people fall in love over the pasta and wine in Rome. Lyon reminds his brother he's supposed to try and make him feel better. Wyatt gets why he's worried and is glad he's not in his shoes. Maybe he could try again to talk to Hope and address his legitimate concerns about Thomas. Is it actually necessary for Thomas to be there? He could video conference in. Liam finds that to be a great idea, but Hope will never go for it. Wyatt asks if he's sure there's nothing else he can do to convince Hope not to have Thomas go. In the main office at Forrester, Ridge and Thomas discuss how Hope is all about Liam and her kids. She's a different person than Brooke who follows her heart. Thomas thinks it's great that Brooke wants to come to Rome so she can see him and Hope working together. In the design office, Hope scoffs at Brooke wanting to come on the trip as her chaperone. Brooke reminds her she told her she had feelings for Thomas. Hope finds it hurtful that her mother thinks she can't control herself around a man who's not her husband. Staying true to her wedding vows won't be a problem. Brooke knows better than anybody what it's like to get involved with an inappropriate man. And I am telling you, Hope. Thomas would be that man for you. Hope gripes that her mother should trust her. Brooke argues that if there are any feelings at all between her and Thomas, that could be dangerous. Hope gops, their work partners. Brooke informs Hope that she is Thomas's muse and they're going to the most romantic city in the world. She wishes Thomas didn't have to go. Hope fumes. Thomas is the lead designer. Brooke sighs. She knows this. Thomas deserves to be in the spotlight just as much as Hope. I just don't want you to let your guard down. You need to respect your marriage to Liam. Hope narrows her eyes. You don't need to tell me that. Brooke is speaking from experience. Hope snaps. Well, I'm not you. She insists everything is fine. Brooke just doesn't want her to make the same mistakes she made, that's all. With that, she walks out. At Spencer Publications, Liam tells Wyatt he's right. 
he should do everything he can to stop Thomas from going to Rome. If he doesn't, he feels trouble is right around the corner. Brooke joins Ridge and Thomas in the main office and compliments the younger designer on his latest sketch. Thomas says he heard she was thinking of coming with them to Rome. He thinks it's a great idea.